and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am looking at Ohuhu again. They just came out with their skin tone pack, so I'm super excited to check it out. Of course, they sent it over to me, and a lot of the colors, according to Ohuhu, are not included in the 72 color set uh, of the brush markers. I believe most of them are in their original set, and so there's only 25 color, no, 24 colors, sorry about that. <laughs> but it makes it easier to quickly just color swatch them, have them on the table. I had to do the 200 pack of the original markers recently, and I unfortunately just couldn't put them on the table like I am now. So this is YR1, and most of their colors have a yellow undertone. I assume that's why it's YR, with the R most likely standing for red, so yellow red. Some of the colors are a tidbit strong, but who knows? I'm curious what I'll be able to make with them. Really like this color, YR9. Ooh, I also like this color too. Some of the strong yellows kind of confuse me just a bit, only because it's straight yellow. <laughs> so, um, hmm, I find that a little interesting, but they're probably there to mix with other colors. I'm not sure. I'll have to experiment a little to see. This last color kind of makes me laugh because I think there might be a misprint. It's BR208 and it's a very cute, pretty pinky color. And the color name is Black Brown. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do see that. I wonder if that might have been an error. I'm not sure. So these are our colors. They do quite vary. Still, a few of them are confusing. The YR8 is quite dark, as well as the YR7, in the sense of not dark skin tone, but dark for an orange color. I assume it's meant to be more on the tan side, but it kind of feels like it misses its mark. So let's go ahead and see what sort of different skin tones I can get out of this. So first up, I have a bunch of hands that I'm going to color, and I drew this in Paint Tool Sci because I really just wanted to focus on using these colors and experimenting with them, having fun with them. And so I'm starting out with this color because it feels like the most natural tan sort of color. So I'm basically just trying to stick with what I know at the moment before I start venturing into the Uhuhu colors that are much stronger. And then maybe some rose beige for shading. All right. And sometimes I add a third color to skin tone, but I think I'm going to keep it to each. All right. Another color I like is YR9, which is yellow ochre. Definitely make sure you're putting down a second sort of full coverage type of layer because with darker colors, they tend to streak more. And since we're working with skin, we definitely want a sort of even skin tone all throughout. Then I'm using YR, nope, not YR, Y12 for shading. All right, and then let's do YR4, which is a salmon pink. And this color does come in the 72 count pack. And then YR20 seems like a good color for some shading. All right, I'm gonna test out YR92, which is chocolate. I'm gonna do this middle arm here on the bottom. Oh wow, that's a really pretty rich color. And then I'm gonna use Y13, just for a little bit of a shading effect towards the bottom. And then I'm gonna use YR205, which is called powdery orange, okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and try BR3 would be a good color to make shading, but I've already used it and I want to make sure every hand is different, like completely different colors. There's BR208, but it's really strong. <laughs> it's such a strong coral looking color. There's also YR7. That also looks really strong. Okay, so I went with BR208. It's actually not that bad. I thought it'd be a lot, I don't know, stronger. And I think what helps is that I have a base color. So oftentimes people to save on ink, they skip coloring with a base color and just kind of 
color one spot their highlight, one spot their regular color, and then the other spot their shading. So that the colors sit next to each other but never quite overlap. Whereas I don't work like that. My colors overlap and I think it helps, in my opinion, with shading and blending. Because I honestly thought this was going to look garishly orange. But I'm actually quite surprised that that's not the case at all. Actually, this color combo looks really good. All right. That was unexpected. All right. Last match of skin colors. Let's see. Tempted to do YR6 and YR34. Again, they really scream like just super yellow. But I've been surprised before. So let's try it out. So YR6, it's actually not that bad. Okay, I was expecting a little worse. I mean, it does sort of have a bit of a Simpson vibe, but I think it works. Let's see. I'm going to use YR34. And the literal name for YR34 is yellow. <laughs> so like this is straight up yellow that I'm using according to the color name. And the base color that I put down, the YR6, that was primary yellow. So I mean, I'm not wrong when I say this is super kind of yellowy. Okay, added a little bit of a background color just to sort of finalize it and see if I can bring it all together. I love all the skin tones, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to some character drawings minus the yellow color. So I'm going to start with my YR9. And I kind of based this first character off of my original character, Devenna, who's also this same skin tone. All right, and then Y12. Yeah, these two colors definitely work well together. And I'm excited for that because I would officially call these the colors for my original character, Devenna, officially. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of R28, which is slightly darker than Y12. So that's pretty much the first character's skin tone. I'm going to color in the rest of her. I'm actually using one of the skin tone colors to do her hair. All right, for the second character, I'm doing the YR4 color. And I can't remember what color it was that I paired with this one. Hmm. I think it was YR20 that I put with it. Let's check that color out. Yeah, I think so. This looks like the color I chose with the hands. And I'm going to use a third color, which is the YR107, because that's what I'm just used to doing. It just feels like a third color adds more depth and just helps with pulling a piece all together. All right. And this character is also based loosely off of another original character that I have. And then for the dude I got here, I'm going to be using R26, which is the honey color. And it's the color that I think is the most natural tan, like I said before. And this dude isn't really based off anybody. I just drew him up based on how I felt. <laughs> and then I'm using the color BR3 for shading. And... For my third color, I've already used this color before with my first character, but I'm going to use YR9 because it's the next best color that's deep enough to provide that shade that I'm looking for, but not too dark where it wouldn't blend well. All right, so there's my third character. As far as his skin tone goes, I'm going to finish off the rest of him. And then lastly, my Elsa looking character. <laughs> Granted, she won't be as pale as the Ice Queen, but that's okay. It's just loosely inspired by Elsa. And then the BR208, which is the black-brown color, as far as the name goes, that I mentioned earlier. <laughs> and then I'm doing BR3 for my third strongest color. And that's that. So as far as our fourth and final character goes. That's pretty much it for her skin tone. And I'm going to go ahead and finish off her hair and a little bit of dress and eyes. All right, so I finished up with a light colored background just to pull it all together. And that's that. So here are four individual characters with different colored skin tones. And there's definitely a lot of variation in this pack. And I am liking that. Lastly, 
I have this character portrait and I'm basically just going to go ahead and do a small quick tutorial on how I exactly do color with skin tone markers. So I chose a medium skin tone and I want to start with R26. And basically when it comes to this first color, I always refer to it as my base color, which is oftentimes my lightest color. And I just fill in everywhere. And depending on how well the coverage is the first time, I may leave it alone. Or if it looks a little patchy, I go ahead and I add just a second layer to cover up that patchiness. And a lot of ink is used, but I do use paper that helps with the longevity of the markers so that it doesn't really soak up a whole ton of ink into the paper. And then there are some parts that I don't go over in order to start creating some sort of contour. So in this area, I'm doing the shading of the bridge of her nose so I can lay that foundation as I start adding darker colors. And so the next color I'm going to is YR9. And what I usually like to do is start with the forehead and I go towards the sides and I start adding shading and kind of like contouring right on the edges. And I make sure to follow the sort of skeletal bone underneath in order to make these ridges. Then I color under the nose because that's pretty much one of the deepest areas that doesn't receive light. And then around the eyelid, like so, under the eyelid. And then in the corners of her mouth. And then underneath her chin would be a large shadow. And sometimes I do the sides of the neck. And then the collarbone. And then other little areas where shadow would be. And then sometimes if the lines are a little too harsh, I go back to my original base color and kind of just go over them to soften them up just to get a softer sort of blend, not so like cell shady. And then I have Y12, which is just slightly deeper than YR9. And this is just for added shading and depth. And so I'm just following like the very edge of her cheek and I'm not bringing it in too much. Otherwise, it would be too strong against the base color. But I'm just hitting areas that would be the deepest. So like under her nose where her nostrils are and just slightly under her neck. And then a little bit on her collarbone. And that's it. And then the last color I have is even deeper, but I'm not going to use it for shading too much. I actually want to use it for creating a sort of eyeshadow kind of look to her. And that's that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and color her hair in with the yellow that also come in the skin tone pack. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make her eyes blue. And that's that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.